This is one more water body in our uh, forest farm. It is about uh, 15 feet wide circle and the depth is about uh, 1 feet in the peripheral round and in the center it's about 2.5 feet and uh, that's about uh, waist deep and it's filled with the mud from the tank beds. Now the lotus uh, leaves are all coming out very well after I fed vermicompost and I want to highlight an important point in this water body that is the tapering edge. See, A frog or a snake can easily come in and go out. If you have sharp cemented edges here, it's not ecological. Now even little, little tiny uh, frogs can just hop out of here and get on with their lives. And the snakes also, it's very it's accessible for the snakes to come in and go. So an ecological pond must necessarily have tapering edges to enable the creatures to approach the water body. So show this side. Okay. <coughs> Here, there's the water, and this edge, the cement is covered with some mud, and then the growth is there, undergrowth. So, this is one uh, aspect that people have to remember when they make their water bodies in the garden. <laughs>